Hey, Lauren, you know, being inside the gym tonight here in Chapel Hill, you felt something extra uh, for those hillside boys. Of course, the tough road, hostile environment, but for them to come in here and get that W tonight, you know it meant something extra after quite a week they've had. It took a big rally after halftime at the Hornets of Hillside High somehow pulled it off. Clawing and grinding their way to tough buckets on the road against bitter rival Chapel Hill. A lot of emotions about what happened this week. I don't want to get too much into that. I'd rather it be just about the game. Richard Lee Worthy is not just the head varsity basketball coach. He's also the assistant principal at his alma mater, Hillside High. Tonight we played a basketball game and that's where the focus is and I'll keep the focus there. The crowds came to Chapel Hill for basketball, cheering on the Hornets to victory, but they couldn't ignore the loss earlier in the week, just 20 minutes away in Durham. I think it brings the community together. It's been a lot of turmoil in Durham this week, especially with my nephew and some of the players at Hillside. A 17 year old student was killed and a 15 year old injured. Both of the boys shot off campus in the middle of the school day. Kendrick Shackelford said his nephew knew the student who died, and he understands the importance of having conversations. You definitely have to talk to him. You definitely have to, again, put your focus on God and understanding the importance of community involvement. A tip called in claiming weapons were in the woods a day after the murder sent law enforcement searching a wooded area by campus Thursday. But that search came up empty. The shooter still at large. It's a tragic situation that happened back in Durham, um, but we shifted our energy and our focus to making sure that the kids were safe, making sure that the kids had an outlet to play. Jason Sims excited to watch his son Devin suit up, hoping the game of basketball is a welcome distraction for his child. A cathartic experience for everyone sporting Hornet Blue tonight. Being able to overcome um, under the circumstances of playing in a hostile atmosphere, uh, the kids did an amazing job. The coach did an amazing job keeping the morale of the kids up. An amazing job indeed. There were also a few extra police officers here inside the gym tonight just to be safe. Now, there were also supposed to be, there was supposed to be a quadruple header here tonight, but the JV game was moved here in Chapel Hill to Monday. Joel Lauren, back to you. Yeah, and the principal there at Hillside spoke earlier today saying the community has to come together to help uh, fight crime there. Josh Chapin, thank you.